Previously on Origins Nook, I showed you how I made this beautiful mirror wall decor using plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't watched this video yet, please make sure to check it out right after this video. For today's video, sure real. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Nora G and for today's video, we're going straight into it. But first, if you're new here, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my Nook family. So for today's video, I found these two beautiful wall um, arts or wall um, portraits that were basically thrown away by my neighbor in my neighborhood. So I decided to pick them up to come try something different with them. As you can see, one of them was almost damaged, probably why they threw it out, but we're going to fix that, okay? We're going to fix that because that is what we do on this channel and we're going to upcycle this into something brand new. Okay, so first things first, I took, um, took, um, took apart the wall art um, just because I will be changing the frame, which is kind of like a, a mannequin. Uh, on there, but I'm going to be changing this completely. I'm also going to be not be using the mirror because one of them was already broken, so it makes sense to keep them uniform. Look at how beautiful this is. I love how unique the frame looks. It's already gold and it looks um, vintage, sorry, but I'm going to change that. So I'll be using this Gorilla Glue, which is also good for wood, to actually put together the broken piece of the one frame. Just watch as I do this. Alright, so even though I did use this, I will also use hot glue to reinforce that so that it holds this together while the, the Gorilla Glue dries off. Okay, so for this wall art, even though I am using recycled um, items, you can always use Dollar Tree wall frames and upcycle them however way you want into something like this. I will also be using this part of the wall portrait, but I will not keep them as is. So first things first, I clean them off and then I will go ahead to paint them using my chalk black acrylic paint. So even though I'm using black over this, you could paint this whatever color you want. I just wanted to keep this black and gold and then use my mirrors. The mirrors I'll be using for this project are leftovers from my IKEA mirror wall, giant wall um, DIY which I had done some time back as you can see at the top of the screen. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you may want to check it out right after this video as well. Right, so I had that all painted and went ahead and did the same for the other one since they're a pair. Okay, so now onto the frames. The frames were already gold and they looked vintage, which was good enough. I would have left it as is, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more polished, so I went ahead and spray painted it with my Rust-Oleum spray paint. So these are the leftover mirrors from my IKEA DIY giant mirror wall DIY project. I'll be using these mirrors to complete our portrait. I'm um, sorry, to complete our wall art today. Okay, so they come with a fine film on the back, probably to hold the mirrors in place, which is very smart. But um, since I'll be cracking this, I'm taking this apart. Just watch as I do this. Also, if you do not have like broken mirrors lying around in your house, which you can easily use for this project, you can also buy mirrors from the Dollar Tree. They have tons of different kinds and you can break them apart to create something like this. So I already had broken mirrors and I didn't know what to do with them and I didn't want to throw them away as well. So I decided to use them for this DIY. So using a cloth, I put the mirrors on there, obviously, to prevent any injuries, 
I had some glasses on which I would strongly recommend as well and I went ahead to keep working the mirrors until I was satisfied. Alright, so after a couple of minutes of doing this, this is what uh, the, the broken pieces looked like. It doesn't have to be perfect, that is the whole idea. Alright, so now that our frame is all dry and put together, I will go ahead to mount this back on before applying our broken mirror pieces. Just watch as I complete this. Well, if you've watched right up to this point, I thank you a lot for sticking with me and would love it if you can comment mirror in the comment section and show your girl some love. Thank you. All right, so once I had that all put back together, a next step would be to work on placing our, decor our mirror pieces decoratively, which is the whole essence of this DIY. So I'll be doing a giant leaf across both frames. You could do a butterfly, you could do um, whatever. This is where you get creative. You make this your own and you can you do whatever kind of um, drawing you want to do here. I'll be doing a leaf as you can see and then I will go ahead to start applying our broken mirror pieces using my Mod Podge. So using a paintbrush, I'm applying a fine film of Mod Podge on the outline of my drawing prior to applying the broken mirror pieces. Alright, so another option would be for you to do two different kind of art on the two frames. And, but then I wanted to keep them as a pair so that they look, they make sense together, if you get what I mean. So that is why I have to leave actually going across to the other frame so that when you see them together, it makes sense. So let's carry on. Okay, so don't be shy with the Mod Podge. You could also use stacky glue for this or any strong adhesive that you have to apply this. I love Mod Podge and tacky glue because they both dry clear. And for something as a mirror, when you're gluing down a mirror, I feel this would be the best option. All right, so the whole idea is to have some kind of a mosaic portrait. Um, once we're done here, as you would see. Alright, so please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this DIY and if it's something that you would love to try sometime. Alright, so even though I'll be filling this all in, I started off by making the frames, like creating the frames, uh, not the frames, sorry, the outline of, um, of my leaf uh, so that I will work within this outline. Since these mirror pieces do not have any shape or form, you want to be able to create that yourself. Another option in place for broken mirror pieces would be CD-ROMs. You can cut out CD-ROMs and use for this same project and it will look just as good and even better because they kind of have like um, a rainbow kind of um, color on the flip side. So you may want to try that as well. Alright, so I also went ahead and used some crushed glass in the spaces that I didn't fit mirror, mirror pieces on there, just to give it an added flair. All right, so we will walk through this until every part within our leaf outline is completely filled with mirrors and also some crushed glass. Once I was done with this, I set it aside to properly dry and cure with about 24 hours. This was like a day 
that I set this aside for it to properly cure and I'll be showing you the final product once I was done I went ahead and did the same on the other one and this is what our final look is like Alright, so please do let me know what you think about this easy DIY and if this is something you would probably try sometime down the line. Well, that will be it for today's DIY. Very easy and straight to the point. If you did enjoy this DIY, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button and the notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.